Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by Notre Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. And Natalie's Pizza in Lemonster, Mass. I'm your host, Dave Madela. Up to this point, Richie Myrick has been laying waste to everybody in his path. Up now, the number one seed in Ray Weatherby. This is going to be a spectacular match, and when the smoke clears, we're going to have a new King of the Palace champ. Let's get to the action. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's bowlers. To my right, Mr. Richie Barrick, just mowing down the competition. Welcome back, Richie. Uh, mowing them down, it's a good thing the grass isn't very high. And to my left, the number one seed with a roll-off score of 401, Ray Weatherby. Welcome, Ray. Thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts going into the match against uh, Myrick over here? I better be on my A game, because if not, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Where's to live by it now, Richie? What are your thoughts? Oh, the same thing. I bowled against Ray a bunch of times out in the Western Tour and what have you. He's a hell of a competitor, so I'm looking forward to 20 boxes with this cat. Let's go. All right, when it's all said and done, I'll see one of you in the 11th box to crown you with the first ever undisputed championship. See everyone then. Here we go. The table is set. Let's get to the main event of the evening. Mr. Ray Weatherby, the number one seed, versus Richie Myrick for the winner. We'll take possession of the undisputed scratch king of the Pops title look at the first person crown with it absolutely right on that one Ray's qualifying score is a 401 he lives in Worcester Mass his high average is a 117 he's been bowling for 37 years his high single is a 199 his high trip is a 481 he bowls out of Colonial in Worcester in bogey lanes opens up with a 10 box the yep. leagues he bowls on is a shot and a beer. And. Well, we're waiting. Come on. Favorite shot is a single with wood. His least favorite shot is Steve, is your favorite shot, the spread eagle. <sighs> Don't even get me there, please. <laughs> the most injustice thing in the history of sports ever, ever oh, manufactured. Look at this. I never got a chance to ask you when I made a spread eagle a few weeks ago. Oh, Did you enjoy right. that? Oh, I went crazy. That, you was, heard for, me that was for you. Oh, yeah. I went absolutely nuts. I stood up, fought as you. Speaking of nuts, we have a squirrel spread. in the house. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Nine box. Opens up on a 19. Up on alley three, Richie Myrick, who's been laying waste to everybody oh. in his path. Seven out of ten. Richie, the week. Terminator Myrick. Yep. Richie actually got fired from his, his voiceover of the anime. Why? Is he too good? Well, no. He opened up a lemonade stand. Oh. I still don't understand why the yellow pink lemonade, he said, is 50 cents, and yeah. yellow lemonade's 25. If you, and, if you, and if you're really nice to him, <laughs> he'll even offer you a cookie. Oh, what kind? I think it's a chocolate chip and an Oreo. Oh, what a bid. It's a chocolate chip for, for 75 cents and an Oreo for a buck with a glass of lemonade because I guess the Oreo has two cookies on it in the cream filling so it's a little bit more money. Yep, Understandable. An Oreo well. doesn't have two Ta cookies. It's one cookie. Uh, Oreo has two. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Wait a minute. It's one cookie. It's a one cookie but with two cookies. Are we yeah. going to have this controversy now? <laughs> oh, Let's Alley get four. back to bowling, please. <laughs> Oh, wide nice wide. ball. Wow, look better than that. Myrick, highest average, 117. Been bowling for 26 years. His high singles are 199. His high trip is a 469. He comes out of East Hampton, Mass. And his home alley is a canal lanes. Oh, well, he's left to three. And he also bowls that Agawam ball. Oh, what a oh. bid. Good. Push it, push it. Oh, Come on. The fire and, it's rocking, it's and then ah. finally falls over. Dennis, why did it fall? Something hit it. Centrifugal force. <laughs> Up now, Ray Weatherby on alley three. When he is you not know, bowling, he is a mail clerk. And he also enjoys watching sports and spending time with his family. And he wants to give a shout out to his three beautiful kids, Jessica, Ashley, and John. That was a beautiful ball, finds the pocket, and what does he get? A spread eagle minus a claw. I don't get it. And oh, John, just, aces and eights up on the deck. Oh, Three, six, four, seven. Look at this mess. Want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Thank you for believing in what we do and sponsoring in what we do because without you, we could not do what we do. North End Mazda Subaru and Lunenburg Mass. Visit our great friends, Marty Babino and his excellent sales staff for a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Natalie's Pizza and Lemonster Mass. And Community Financial and Retirement Services. Go to www.comfinancial.com and say hello to Bruce Rawlstep. He'll hook you up for everything that you'll ever need. Absolutely. That was a mouthful. 
<laughs> you tired? You, you need to take one of his naps? Take a breath. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use one of Steve's naps. You know, Ray, Ray Weatherby. Nine blocks. In the championship match with the King of the Palace, he buried two balls in three and blocks, yeah, three and chopping. four. And he left, both times he left the spread eagle minus the claw. Yeah, he's chopping. I mean, Dennis, he threw the ball the same, basically the same ball yeah. twice. And that's... Uh, wait for Richie's fill here, and I'll yeah. get to my point. Hold wow, on. look at this. And the ball in the ocean, and look at this. And he dropped six. And that's the frustrating thing, is when you're on the head pin every ball, and it's oh, still not the, working. It's the object of the game. You the, throw it 60 feet, you hit the head pin, you get penalized. Yeah. Richie leaves the high-low jack with a queen and a whole bunch of jokers on the deck. Now, how do you make out the three pin as the queen? Yeah, well, I you know. How'd you come up with that? One? Oh, look oh, at, that. Look at oh, this. Oh, the... Completely misses it. And he gets the spear. Anything is possible in candlepin bowling. No, oh, I've always said that. I agree with you. 100%. So, like I was saying, it's when you're on the head pin every ball in the first ball, and it's still nothing going, that is more frustrating because if you're way off, you know you have to make the adjustments. But. Oh, oh wreck in a rack. Now he's got a trick. Clean up on alley four. Oh, my goodness. Am I going to have to stand up again? Richie Beast Myrick. The Lemonade oh. Man. You talk about somebody who was really after the King of the Palace belt. Brought, uh, brought to you by the King of the Palace. Developed. By, your, call by, Ray. by my partner and producer, excuse me, my partner and owner, David Metalla. Who could have thought of it? I thought I was but, listening to the Porky Pig. There he goes. Ray opens up with a spare finally. No way. Found the spear. Didn't open up with one. Found one. Also, also want to give a shout out real quick. Stay tuned for the third annual Twin City Challenge between Mason's Bowling Recreation Center in Lumberton, Mass. And New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. We have a 10-string qualifier and a 10-string finals. A division is here at New Palace Lanes this year. And the B division will be at Mason's. Last year they hosted the A's. It's the way the tournament's supposed to be between two houses. And this year you're flip-flopping. I hope to make it down one time, but That'd be kind of cool. working two jobs, it's kind of next to impossible. You always find time to throw 10. We'll see. Come down on a Saturday or a Sunday, throw 10. Then you sit and wait for a little while. Then you come down and you finish off with the... I have to see when the final dates is. Richie Myricks. Oh, oh look at it is, people. Double. A double strike. He has got the... Wow. He's Talking got an about. eagle. He's got four marks in a row. Needless to save people. He's on fire. Talk about some explosive oh, I got right to stand up. That's all there is to it, people. He's going after three in a row. Been a while since we had a, a turkey strike. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's wide right. Oh, well, some last minute action. Drunk. Drop six on the double strike. Oh, let's hope he gets this. A little extra time here. Any contact with the head pin? Oh. Ooh, leaves the finger of God. Leave the finger of God. Almost. Almost had the badge. Five marks in a row is a badge. You accomplished almost getting there by getting four in a row, which is an eagle. Unbelievable king of bowling. Talk about bowling. What's he got, Dennis? After six, Ray Weatherby at 60, Richie Marek at 99. Double straight. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Richie putting on another clinic. Ray Again, Rutherby, week, Ray, week after week. Ray Weatherby, two out of three boxes hit the head pin and left the Just off. Gold, minus minus a claw. We have 340 subscribers on YouTube right now. I want to I'm putting a challenge out there. I want 400 before the end of the season. Absolutely, Absolutely. spectacular. Also, want to thank everybody out there in YouTube land for your comments and views. Um, I know you guys share it. Let us know who you're sharing it with. We are where you're watching it, where you're from. I know we've, we've had quite a few. Um, I know we've had some from North Carolina. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, <laughs> back door, boom. He splits the two pin into the four. Ray Rutherby gets the strike. And he shakes his head. He's bowing to the bowling guards. Go 
guys, he hit the head pin twice, two boxes in a row. It all looks the same on paper. And both times left the Sprite Eagle minus a claw, and, and he goes, hits the three into the six and gets a strike. Put you Myricks off a little. No questions of the week all season yet. No. But you know what it is, too, is I think maybe they asked all the questions that we wanted, and then they turn around and they just tell us what they like about the show and keep doing what we're doing. So we're going to keep doing what we do for as long as you want. Well, then they could call. They could ask a question, David, to Steve and say, how many possible split leaves are there in Candlepin Bowling? I'll even, take, I'll even take that at this point. <laughs> I'll tell them there's 459. <laughs> And I'll tell them there's 1,021 oh, possible no. speed. You have 429 down. Yeah. You said 459. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, thank you for correcting me. And I'm getting old. Okay. Could also tell them it's 60 feet from the foul line to the head pin. They throw the ball down the alley 40 miles an hour. The ball makes contact with the head pin or whatever pin in one second. Richie Myrex. Off to the left. Left. And he's left a mess. <laughs> Oh, not that bad, though. No, guys. no, this isn't bad at yeah, all. Yeah, he pounds a head pin. It should clean it up. If he Five splits these, down. splits the one three, he should take it. One, one, three, six, seven. Now a piece of wood up against the one and the six. See what That's happens. A tough shot. Oh, he just beat by the head pin. That's all right, though. See what happens here. He's shooting for a ten box. Once again. Oh, oh, wow, bungee ball. Uh, He's just magic. So after eight, Ray Weatherby at 80 working on a strike. Richie Myrick at 118. One thing I can say about Richie Myrick, man, he smells blood in the water. He's like a shark. He's, yep. he's going to come get it. Yeah. Uh, he, he's determined to look you want to go against Richie Myrick, you better bring a bag Ooh, lunch because it's going to be it's gonna be an all-day affair. Oh, look at come, this. Come on. Drop seven with the first ball and has a favorable... Shot at getting a spear. Yep. You go. You got three pieces of wood. Where are you going, over, guys? Riding over to the right. Well, you got to play the two in the corner. No. I and actually, no? I might, I might play the two in the corner because if you try to play that right wood, it's not going to sweep because the other dead wood's going to stop it. Well, if you hit it just right, you'll ride the the no, ball to the. Left. Well, he's going left. <laughs> he got the ten and the seven. What I was saying is, if you rode that pin on the right hand side down into the ten, it may have, with enough force, pushed that over. It may have, but there was too much dead weight for the chance. But he, I think he went the right way. He got the nine shoulder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice ten bucks. What's he got, Dennis? After nine. Ninety-nine after nine. This is for the king of the palace, undisputed scratch title. Who's going to be wearing the belt? Richie Myrick, no stranger to King of the Palace title holders. Oh, wow. Wow. just no. cherry picked the two. How does that happen? Dennis wow. Dave, he throws the ball 60 feet. Hey, it's, it's, one better, pin. Than, it's better than the spread eagle. Oh, oh look at this. this. Oh, almost came back. And he hit one pin up. Dave, and for those people out there who have never been here and actually held this title belt, it weighs more, in my opinion, than both the tag team belts combined. It, it is huge and heavy. Oh, is that good? Yeah. David, he took, David takes all the credit for it. Redesigned. He designed reconfigured. it. Reconfigured. Reconfigured it. He did everything. I love the eagle on the side. That, that wants, that's one of my next cat tattoos. That yep. is an eagle, but the colors of the American flag inside of it. Everyone who's been on Facebook knows what I'm talking about. It's beautiful looking. Drop seven on the first. Leaves the six, seven, nine. Where are you going with this one? I'm, cut, I'm cutting the... I'd play the inside of the six pin with all the dead wood and just spray it out. February is the next tag team title division. Cannot wait for that. King of the Palace. We have changing it up a little bit. People ask for it. We are going to go two shifts, five string qualifiers. You and your partner must coexist as one if you want to become the world title holders. Oh, don't you worry. Me and Sea Homo coexist as one. <laughs> Four o'clock. Put us I in. Know, I know one person who's going to be here. He's going to be riding a squirrel. Johnny Blaze. <laughs> Our the head, head pin hit. A little thin that leaves the 4-7. Oh, I don't like that wood, though. Ghost Rider, what's up? 
I know one thing. Johnny's going to do the tag team. He's going to have a whole bag of nuts. I got to say, though, I saw Johnny Blaze bowl at the Worlds. Great, great, great bowler. Very, great consistent. Well, yeah, even a blind squirrel will find a nut every once in a while. Oh, well, he found you, one all week. Are you not <laughs> Spare for Richie. How can a blind squirrel find a nut? Mark it my happens word. every once in a while. Mark my words. And I, I, said it to, I said it to Mark Richie earlier today. The next couple of years, watch this kid. Yep. Watch him blow up. He's going to be phenomenal. Final blow. A. Phil puts him at 146 for the string. So after one, Ray Weatherby at 107. Richie Myrick at 146. Spectacular bowling by Mr. Richie Myrick. The bowling Myrick. machine from the past couple of weeks has just continued on. No doubt about it. 39 pin lead. How many spears and strikes are on this? Uh, Myrick had three spears and two strikes on that string, and Ray had one on each. Well, the one thing I love about Candlepin bowling is that every it's like one big giant happy family. Dysfunctional family, I should say. What, are you trying to tell me that Steve's dysfunctional? You're, you're dysfunctional? Yeah, I'm down the road. I'm well, just... Yeah, yeah, you know, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> you're low on your iron, need your insure, Pedialyte. <laughs> I got that one, David. <laughs> Richie Myricks opens up, he oh. finds a head pin, and he's Leaves the, just the 10. Nice piece of wood right there. Once again, Ray Weatherby has a mountain to climb out of. Yeah, 39 pin lead for Myrick going in. Myrick has been leaving everybody in his wake, and if you want to beat him, you have to climb that mountain, and Richie is not letting you no. up on that mountain. No. He's up there with a stick just pushing you off. Opens up with a spear. <coughs> well, what else is new? Seven marks, five marks, six marks. It's an animal. Beautiful pitch. You know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to talk to the OEPD to see if we can have like a spread eagle, but with Johnny Blaze riding a squirrel. <laughs> Wait a minute. On that note, cool. repeat that again. Yeah. A spread. <laughs> Nice I want to talk to the OEPD to see if you can have a graphic of Johnny Blaze riding a squirrel. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Leaving Raven. the diamond here with a piece of wood. Just sweep it out. Happens. Yeah, just sweep it. There you go. Well, we open up with three out of three boxes and knocks by the bowlers. Excellent Camelton bowling. Lane number four, box number two, string number two. The one thing I can say about Johnny Blaze, man, he's a, he's a, he's a good cat. Oh, yeah. Good kid. You know? He's a little squirrely, a little nuts, but all in all, he's a good kid. He's left the one, the eight, the nine. He's got a great future in Kenlipin Bowling ahead of him. I'm telling you what. Yes, yes, he does. He's one of the fun ones. Young up and comer. One day. Oh, nice ten. One doing, day man. he will hold the King of the Palace World Title as he's riding a squirrel. I don't know about the squirrel pop, but I, I guarantee he'll be, he'll be a champion at one point. Let's say, David, is his favorite candy squirrel nut? Ooh. <laughs> there you, Steve's getting in on it now. Remember those? Right. used to match up with mint juleps and... and um, mint juleps. Mint wow. Juleps. Yeah, Jeez. Jeez. Wow. And, up um, alley three, Richie Myrick. Mary James. To be double. Oh, Look good. man. Richie leaving the seven, eight with a piece, a couple of pieces of wood on Where the deck. Where are you going, deck. Dennis? You, well, you I go far, far right, right on that dead wood yeah. and just sweep it all over. Spray and praying. Right side of the right. red line on the left. Right, right side. Just where he's playing it. There you oh. go. Yeah, you call it. Three in a row. He's got another turkey. When does it end? I got to stand up again. Unbelievable. Can't open bone. Unbelievable. I'm getting hungry talking about turkeys. Right. Maybe our sponsor will we can order some pizza from him. Yep. But just don't have Steve pay for it. <laughs> yeah. You have to chip in. Oh, could oh, be. Look wow. This. That should have been a triple. Yep. Fills the spear with a nine. I don't going think you want anybody pulling anything out of that hat. Oh, it's going right at the wood. Oh, look at this. Slammed it. Beautiful Four in a pitch. Row. Myrick is putting on a clinic. Four marks in a row. Again. He's got the badge. Putting on a clinic. Excuse me. He's got the eagle. Even I'm confused, Dennis. My mind is. <laughs> I confused it, Dennis. Wow. Ba -ba -ba I got to stand ba -ba. up. This is unbelievable. Fortunate Candlepin bowling. Unbelievable. What a ball. Oh. <coughs> Left the five pin up with a piece of wood up behind it. 
Should have buried. That was a beautiful pitch by Ray Weatherby. Nails it up. And he's got two out of three. He's got nine. Box to box, Myrick is up 52 pins. Very it's difficult to come back facing four in a row, facing the... Myrick's just putting it in cruise control right now. Found the hit. Oh, look at this. I can't say I blame you, Ray. Just want to uh, take a second to promote the main Bowler's Choice tournaments. This is starting back up again by my buddies Will Damon and Wade DePaul. You remember that from King of the Palace a couple weeks ago. The first stop is the Colonial Bowling Lanes in Westbrook, Matt, uh, Westbrook, Maine. Excuse me. $50 entry per person. It's a team event. 220 cap for averages. You must bring proof of average. Uh, and the finale did four stops plus the uh, the uh, playoffs. And the playoffs they're guaranteeing a thousand dollars to the winning to the winner. Happy days. Thousand dollars. So hey, for more information, go to the Facebook page for Main Bowler Choice Tournament or contact Will Damon or Wade the Palmer about it. Yep. I also want to give a quick shout out to all the rest of the Canlipin Bowling TV shows out there. You have classic Canlipins in Riverwalk. Go visit our friends Mark Ricci and all them. Um, also visit um, Alley Chat. Absolutely, Frank Face, love yeah, that guy. Spectacular TV that. show. Wow, did you see that? Oh, are you kidding me? That pin just helicoptered all the way into the back, came back. Uh, wow. He missed the. He five. threw that ball hard too. Yeah. He missed the. Myrick five. feels it. He, missed, he, he just wants to put this match away right now. Also, shout out to uh, New England Candle Pins. And which, which, which Mr. Richie Myrick is a broadcaster. Of? Yes, he is. I gotta get down to all those tapings at least once. I'd like to. It's just like I said, it's <laughs> next to impossible for me. It's almost next to impossible to me too. Yeah, and you work two jobs too. Yep. See how it uh, probably wanted roll that wood to flatten out a little bit more, this but is, this, oh yeah, that's right. This is a roadblock. When I when I no matter where you hit it, it's gonna move out of the way. Want to wish a happy birthday to Mr. Controversy, Ooh. Rusty Geller. Geller. <laughs> Yeah, right, scorekeeper. And he's Barber got a 10 box. What's he got, Dennis, after six? After six, which <laughs> Mark is at 97. 97. Oh, my. Goodness. Box to box, Mark is up 64 pins. Thumper's out the door. Okay, Ray's obviously got his work cut out for him. Up on alley three, Ray, Ray Weatherby. Very difficult thing. Well, he's got a couple of open boxes to work with here. Let's see if he can... Oh, wow, okay, got this. a break. Got a, come on, fall over seven pin, will ya? Wow, all that wood in the seven pin just stayed up. Goes, uh, this should be an easy pickup. No, just I take a little keep... off. Nothing's ever easy, trust yeah. me. <laughs> just take <laughs> just take a little off. Just keep it on the alley, that's all. Make contact with the dead wood. There, there we go. Nice miss. Wood player. Woody wood player. <laughs> Really? <laughs> the alley six. Excuse me, alley four, I can't box do it. Six. See what he fills it with? He needs a strike. Oh! Yeah. oh. Short pinned it. Well, Dennis, here it's we have the infamous the two nine pin with a two One pieces pin of wood. One pin the nine pin up. Two so pieces of wood, you've always said, is very dangerous. Jersey barrier. Well, and once yeah, again, you you're right. absolutely That's correct. exactly why. <laughs> Ray Weatherby is standing two. there. Look, and he's looking at us. I he's feel you're right, Blaney. You are absolutely correct, Dennis. You've always said. Had a force field around both. David nice calls step. it a Jersey barrier, and you've always warned us and about it, Dennis. You're Probable. absolutely correct. After six, Ray Weatherby at 81, Richie Mark at 97. But, Dennis, you've got two pieces of wood. The ball hits it. The ball goes one way. One piece of wood goes. How does that happen? I, <laughs> It was only four or five inches there. Oh, oh Myrick wrecking another rack. He's One, just putting three, on a three. clinic. I got to stand up again. He's stopping a mud hole again into Ray Weatherby, five and he's going to walk it dry. Max. This is unbelievable. He is just, he's said it, he wants to set a record. I'm going to see that, if he throws a double right. before I say what I'm going to say next. <laughs> oh, what were you going to say? A big shout out to uh, Lakeside Lanes. Next year is the host of the International Canopin Championship, better known as the Worlds. Yep, give a shout out to. Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Mass. Great people. Yes. Great bowling alley. Eight fill and a strike. I love Pilgrim uh, Pilgrim Lanes. I go there every year for the uh, Rock and Bowl, which is coming up soon. Yeah, when is that? About it. It's a, usually end of February. I don't have the date yet, but it, it's a great. We we help raise money for the kids for their trip to Canada the Bowl against the youth pros. Nice. Just just like it's like they like the worlds, but for the the children, yeah. it's awesome. Oh, and some nice. parents have like two kids going, and it's like 400 to 500 a kid. 
to go with you know expenses and everything. So oh, we, we try to raise the money to help them you know alleviate that pressure from them. It, it's I have a smile on my face when I wake up till I go to bed that day. Nice. Oh, oh wow! He should have had that when he's standing there laughing because that ten pin just like laughed in his face. Yeah. <laughs> It's stood burn, there and, stood there and gave him the, the finger. It's big. It's burned on this one. I can't burn you. Really. Ten bucks. Puts him at 91. As they say, it just wasn't meant to be, I guess. Uh, it's Richie Marek's day, man. He's yep. been on fire. He's going to get Week beat. after week, week he after. has been destroying the competition. He's going to wear the chair. He's wearing the... Whoa. Come on, Bob. You know you... The five wiggles, not going to go. The other wood held it up. Is, yep. that, is that an example of the stripper? No. No? No. no. Why not? Because no, that one, We'll call that one an Oreo. How would you? How do you get an Oreo out of that? Because it sandwiched a pin. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, oh, I'll he just missed it. that too. You okay. had one. You have one cookie, two cookies. An Oreo cookie. is one cookie. cookie. It's not two cookies. Yeah, ten bucks. After eight, Ray Weatherby at 101. Richie Myrick at 124. 60. This two pin lead for Myrick right now. Well, we can congratulate Richie Myrick right now. He's going to be wearing the belt. He's going to be proud of this it. This is all formality right now. This uh, is all candle pin bowls. I know Marikin, he, he still wants a mark out. Yep. There it is one. There's wow. one. Wow, dropping bombs. What a phenomenal, phenomenal candle pin bowl. This is he a, is this just is dropping. This is just absolutely incredible. With all these hammers, I bet you Richie uh, built the house by now. Yeah. Nail after nail in the coffin of Ray Weatherby. The, throw the double just to see. Ooh. Oh. Just missed the head pin. He wanted it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Well, you know he wants to spare. Absolutely. Because then he's going to drop another dime if he got it. But do you open up with a 146, and now he's going to get probably even higher. Very well could be. Oh, oh chopping it. Well, he's faced with a... Spectacular score, nonetheless. Another 140 game. Left the, another spread eagle with minus a claw. Back-to-back back 140 game. Spectacular bowling for the nine, new... Two. King of the Palace. There's the King of the Palace waving to us. Scratch champion, Richie Myrick. Thumbs up. Mr. Lemonade Man. Unbelievable. Candle pin bowling. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. Visit our friends Marty Babineau. Buy, visit buynorthend.com. Natalie's Pizza, Lemonster, Mass. And also Bruce Ralston. Community Financial Services. Visit www.comfinancial.com. He'll hook you up with anything that you'll ever need financially. Also, give a shout-out to all the viewers out there on YouTube and on Facebook and local access. Thank you very much for your continued support. want to thank our OEPD for all the spectacular work that he does. Thank Dennis Nuzzo, Steve Bronchuk, our, our scorekeeper, Justin Scally, the chick behind the scenes, Amber, for keeping us hydrated and, and, and whatever else she does. Nobody knows. Want to want to thank the audience. There John, it is. Johnny Blaze. So half the two. Ray Weatherby at 121. Richie Mark at 145. Two string total. Ray Weatherby at 228. Richie Mark at 291. Unbelievable. Congratulations to Richie Mark for once again being the king of the palace champion. Richie Mark had six spares and five strikes, and Ray Weatherby had five spares and one strike. Let's get to the 11th box and meet our new champion. Richie Myrick. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with the new scratch champion, Mr. Richie Myrick. Richie, phenomenal bowling the entire event. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, thoughts are it's nice to have this belt. I had the handicap belt a few months back. Now it's nice to have the scratch one. So come all, let's go. Come take that from me. You coming for the tag team titles next? Oh, if they want a tag team title, let's go. I got another shoulder for another belt. Come get some. <laughs> well, it was a great bowling. Uh, you just put on a clinic against Ray. And uh, any thoughts that you have on the match? Uh, oh, him? Oh, oh me? me out of here. It's uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. I bowled against this man. He's one tough cookie to crack. Dennis bowled against him, and this guy is for real. Richie, a clinic, like Dennis said. 
You want to face this guy for that title? You better bring a bag of lunch with your peanut butter, your jelly, and your fluff because it's going to be an all-day affair because he's going to serve up a whole can of whoop. <laughs> well, I've said it for a long time. I'm, I'm a big Richie Marrick guy. Uh, he knows that. It was great bowling against him. I would just wish I could have done a little better. Any, any thoughts you have on it? Richie, yeah. It's not often that Steve stands up during my commentation. Very rarely when I see someone bowl as well as you. Steve stood up today. Wow, Steve, Steve stood up today. Hey, my work here is done. I'll, you know what? I don't even want the belt no more. <laughs> Let's cut it right there, boys. Let's call it an this. episode. Is every pitch you threw, you were just putting a nail in everybody's coffin. You were just dropping bombs, man. It was some of the best bowling we've seen in a long time. Congratulations. And then we'll see you again for the 80%. You're yeah. going to be in the field and the tag team. And then once again, for you to defend your title. I got room for belts. I got another shoulder. I got another belt buckle right here. Give me three of them. Let's go. Let's go bowling, guys.